Regardless, ACAN is doing well. Um, I'm happy, really happy to know that this tank is once again ACAN ready. Hey, what's up, reefers? Good morning. Today is a really exciting day because we are at Lancaster again for their frag swap at that pad place. Let's go. So already made a round inside the frag swap. <laughs> so in the past, I will film first and then buy and shop. But by then, usually good stuff is all gone. So this time, I'm doing something a little bit smarter. Shop first and then film. Right, Juan? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On the spot. That's the, that's the best way to do it, man. You got to scout it out and then you go and shop. And this guy is terrible the whole time he's been spraying my ear. You know, he usually, usually is the one that enables us. But today, we're getting back. But guess what? I think he's gonna pick up a nice clam today. I don't know, man. It, it looks really nice. You, should, you guys should check it out for sure. Let's right, take a look at the clam. All right. <laughs> Dude, they have fractured fishes up. This is one of the first corals I got. Look at the walking dendro. Just remember, do not dip him. That is true. That is a really good point. So I saw these at I think Reef Belusa in New Jersey, and really regret not getting them. Uh, but I was able to find one right here. So basically, these uh, that's a dendro, and underneath it, there's a little warm. I'll show you when it gets in the tank. First coral. <laughs> all right, so here's from Sky Lagoon. Thank you, sir. Enjoy them, all right? Thank you. <laughs> Are you doubling? What? So, <laughs> take your girl and take pictures. Yes, yeah, yeah. I hear you were looking at the OG Bounce. No, no more. <laughs> <laughs> but it's buy four, get one. <laughs> yeah, I got some frogs for them. Got a couple eggs. Oh, nice how much for that? Uh, just 50 bucks. 50 bucks? Yeah. That's a really yeah. nice thing. Fishy snowman, that's a nice uh, batch you got there. <laughs> I think like the big ones would do better than those ones. What'd you pick up? Alice. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really nice one. It's like a candy stripe one, right? That's the one? That's really nice. What did you do? I got the kryptonite mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> that is nice. This is what happens when I take my uh, my wife to the front. We got some uh, Rotterfers here live. Nice. And uh, some trigger pods from Mike Spido. Awesome. Good stuff. Awesome. So is that what you use normally? Uh, yes, yes. I do put this stuff in my in my tanks from time to time. Cool. So on, what'd you get right here? My uh, long tentacle plate coral right here. It actually shrunk up a lot, huh? I know. In there, it looks huge. It got a little upset, but it's, it's almost as big as the bottom of this container. It's actually pretty big. We got two reefers here in the natural habitats of picking corals. Put on the, uh, oh, you gotta put on the eyes of the A little plug, plug there. <laughs> That was all the coral collage I got because there's so many people. Maybe because like snowing out, so everybody came out. And I guess uh, I don't want to squeeze in there because it won't be fair. So that was it. Uh, just take my words, I had a lot of awesome corals here. And once I go home, I was talking about what I picked up today. Hanging out with the people, checking out what people brings out. Always a fantastic time at Frag Swap. But for now, I'm gonna check out the fish room. Look at all these enablers. Yeah, yeah. I found you. Oh, that's, a, that's a cute little guy. A stubby clown. Oh no. Oh. That's a like cool too. Oh, that, those are not baby. Those are pretty big. Yeah. And look at these little guy. I think this baby's moved right here. Seven. Little dude. You want to come home with me? Come on. Come on. No, everybody turned away. What do you want me to get? Stonefish. What? <laughs> so I'll have an excuse to not do any water change. Oh, there. Oh, that's a leaf fish, right? I kept this. Leaf scorpion fish, yeah. Really cool. They sway. Check out this little dude. It's called Strawberry Nudibranch. I've never seen that before. And obviously, that is the gill up top, but problem is we don't know what they eat. Oh, it's Alex. What's up, Alex? Alex. Oh. Alex. Up, Alex. Alex. Oh. <laughs> it's stingray. 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 That is good. <laughs> that is cool. Lobsters. Lobsters? A lobster? Yeah. Slipper lobster. Yeah. Oh, this guy. Ooh. Right here. How can you tell if they're healthy? Uh, just for fully extended. Do they react to light? Yeah, they should. Oh, those purple ones? Yeah. Or oh, not? Yeah, Man, this guy tricked me. I was like, do you see the lizard? I was like, see that? Turns out to pick lizard. It looks pretty real. Three hours later. 
Hey, what's up, Reefers? Finally made it home from Lancaster Frag Swap by Reef Conservation Society at Dead Fish Place. What a wonderful time. Awesome meeting all of you guys there, and um, let's go over what I brought back. But before that, check out my frag cooler. Look at all these awesome stickers right here as well. Um, are you, oh no, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I caught my charm. Today, for once, I actually bought corals. Usually when I go to Frag Swap, I was just so busy like filming, I'll never buy anything. So this time I'm doing things a little bit different. I shot first and then film. I actually don't remember half the stuff that I got. I cannot see it, but it's like a super bright red and pink mushroom. And it looks this bright under white light and a tinic, and that's why I got it. I think it was like 40 bucks or something like that. And then this is the really nice orange clove. So I got two soas here. Um, okay, this is actually labeled. This purple people eater, PPE. This is one of the OGs. Like back in the days, when we talk about nice uh, zoas, this is it. I think this is like, um, it's blue in the center and orange ring. Maybe like fire and ice. I'm not 100% sure, although it does not look anything like my flag, fire and ice. Maybe just a light. Right here, we got a really nice A can. I got a couple A can, thinking to uh, start up a A can garden again in the 45 gallon tank. I had one, but then due to the out swing, I lost all of them. Here's the other A can. Look, this one looks really nice in white light as well. Here's uh, here's the oddball. Uh, this is the oddball that I picked up today. This is the walking dendro. Oh, look at this. <laughs> so I was passing out stickers, and turns out I got one left. And this is actually really high quality print from Harry P Plotter Design. Awesome name, by the way. And it's supposed to be like waterproof, weatherproof, etc., etc. And sure enough, paper's wet, but this one is still good. Solid. Uh, I've been giving this out on Instagram, so if you want one, just um, hit me up. All right, well, I'm gonna acclimate all the corals and put them into the 45 gallon tank and um, we'll go over them once I get a chance to acclimate. By the way, I was this close to pick up that large 10 inches squamosa clam. It was uh, it was being sold for 250, which is really reasonable for a clam that size because once you put it in the tank, it becomes a centipede. So I feel like it's, it's definitely worth it. However, after much thought, I feel like that clam is a little bit too large, especially I pulled some of you guys on Instagram. It's like split. 50% of you guys are like, no, don't do it. The other 50% is like, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> so I figure um, what I'll do is actually wait for Life Aquaria to have like a 30% off sales. And I actually want to pick up one of those like nice Indo blue squamosa. Uh, normally it's like $370 for a four inch one, but with 30% off, it'll knock the price back a little bit to more like 300 bucks. Uh, figure, because I figure like, if I want to spend that much hours and money on a clam, let's go for a nice, um, blue squamosa or turquoise squamosa. So if you guys see it on sale, ping me on Instagram. And um, ah, I miss that large clam, man. That 10 inch clam looks nice. Anyways, let's get the corals into the tank. Two days later. All right, we first, so the first thing I want to show you are these A-cans right here that I picked up during the frag swap. Uh, so as you know, maybe like half a year ago, all my A-cans got wiped out due to the alk swing. And these two are pretty much tester to make sure the tank is ready to go. And it's been a few days and the A-cans couldn't be happier. So I think this tank right here is ready for another A-can garden. Now one thing I am kind of sad about is that orange actually does not really display that well under my tank. It became like a dull orange under this light. Uh, while under the vendor spoof, uh, it definitely glows. It's like a glowing orange. Almost almost like that, almost like a jawbreaker orange. Um, so I may end up moving that to the 10 gallon. Uh, we will see. I'm also planning on adding some kind of um, a blue LED, almost like a reef bright onto this uh, these kind of lights. So that may help. Regardless, ACAN is doing well. Um, I'm happy, really happy to know that this tank is once again ACAN ready. Now swinging over here, I picked up actually two Zoas. Let's take a look at this one first. I'm not sure if there's a name to this Zoa. Um, it almost reminds me of Fire and Ice, but I have not seen one with such a nice blue. This is actually, the color is actually really true to life. It's uh, really blue, almost like this right here. So those are tops blue. I got a few polyps over there, it's kind of surviving. Uh, but this one is even more intense, more saturated. I'm not sure if there's a name, but I think it was only 15 bucks. If I knew it looks this good, even under my lights, I would have picked up a couple more. Um, now, you may be curious, like why is it just on a little pebble like that? So that piece actually fell off the frag plug somehow, but it works out because I don't like frag plug anyways, and what I end up doing is probably gonna glue it right there or right there to let it spread onto the rock. Or maybe over there, we'll see. So the other soa or pally I picked up is actually the OG purple people eater right there. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. 
Um, that's a nice classic. This is like 10 plus years ago when I was in hobby. That was the bomb. That was the polyp to get. Uh, these days, of course, things have changed, but hey, still got a special place in my heart. Now sliding down here is actually one of the pride and joy that I got uh, from this frag swap. The color looks really true to life here. It really is a nice hot pink. Um, the unique thing is that it is this color regardless of whether it's under blue light or under white light. A lot of corals look great under blue light but not so much for white. But I specifically turn like this light from blue to white in the vendor's booth to make sure um, it's equally presentable. And to my surprise, it actually is. So I picked this up. Another unique thing is that the texture of this tiny little mushroom is like slightly smaller than dime size. R looks exactly like the jawbreaker. Uh, that's that guy right there. I got this jawbreaker when it's about this size and it, it has like the small bump. The texture looks exactly the same. Except again, this little polyp is like a hot pink kind of deal. I've, I've not seen anything like this. Uh, so I got it and we'll see how it goes. If you know what this is, please let me know if there's a name. Ah, almost forgot. I also got this really nice clove coral. Uh, they got knocked down under the sand bed. It got a really nice fluorescent orange strip running through it. I think I paid like $15 for this. These guys spread fast, so I'm gonna find a nice area for it to, for it to spread out. It's kind of like Xenia on steroids, isn't it? At the frag swap, there was a vendor with one walking dendro. I saw it, I immediately picked it up. Now, for those of you who may not be super familiar with what walking dendro is, actually one single head of dendros like right here. But uh, what the unique thing is that underneath this dendropala, there's actually a peanut worm that kind of lives right in it. Uh, it kind of buries a hole into the dendropolyp and then it will drag the, the polyp along. as almost like a defensive mechanism as it look for food. Now, I did not actually see this walking dendro walk per se. However, I do find it at different spot in the tank throughout the day. For example, right now it's here. A little bit earlier is actually on this side of the tank. So the peanut worm is definitely present and it's hopping around. And uh, we see that the dendro actually grabbed a piece of fish flake, but the sexy shrimp, unfortunately, is gonna do what it does best and steal the food from it. Man, what a little jerk. All right guys, so those are the corals that I picked up at the frag swap. This coming Saturday is actually my local Reef Club WAMAS uh, uh, quarterly meeting. And before even getting there, I already bought a nice, nice coral that I've been searching for for a long time. I think I have a shopping problem. But when you see corals that you've been searching for for a while shows up, you just got to jump onto it. So in a future video, you're gonna see what I picked up at my local Reef Club's meeting. It's gonna be good. I'm so excited I found this coral. I think it's really gonna complement the 45 gallon tank well. And I can't wait to show you guys what I got. Hmm. Fresh water plants, look at all these, all fresh water.